Hi there, students. A barometer. OK, a barometer is this thing that you use to measure the air pressure. You can use a barometer um, to help you predict um, the weather that there's going to be. So high pressure um, normally indicates good weather and low pressure normally indicates stormy cold weather. OK, so a barometer, yeah? Um, I believe the barometer was invented either by Evangelista Torricelli or by Gasparo Berti in 1643. So these wonderful Italian inventors, yeah? But let's see, that's very technical and very specific. But we can use this word barometer figuratively anything that is used as an indicator, a gauge, yeah? So something that can show us how a particular situation is developing or how people's opinions on a particular matter. So um, surveys or public opinion polls are used as a barometer of what the public think about a certain matter, yeah? Um, uh, the uh, look on his face is a good barometer as to whether he's happy or sad. Okay, so uh, a barometer is something that you, 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 you use to give you an indication of something else. Um, for example, you could have barometer stocks and shares. Um, a barometer stock, this is a, sh or a share, and people believe that the performance of this share, whether it's going up, down, or staying stable, is a barometer. It shows generally how the market is uh, changing. And this is the idea of a barometer, something which reflects changes in circumstance, changes in opinion. Um, Let's see, maybe the uh, colours of clothes that people wear are a barometer to how society is feeling in general. Um, maybe um, the, the government use inflation as a barometer for monetary policy. OK, so this is a barometer. It's something that indicates the fluctuations. Housing sales or the sale of houses is a good um, economic barometer to tell how well a society is doing. I think they also measure, measure um, truck traffic, the number of truck movements per day, as a barometer to uh, indicate the health of, a, or of an economy. You could have a barometer, a barometer test, a standard test, yeah? Um, so uh, I think uh, A-levels or O-levels and GCEs, these are a barometer as to ability. Yeah, um, Ye uh, Yelts and uh, the Cambridge exams, these are, are clearly a barometer to uh, as to your um, level of English. Let's see, a barometer of success. What are the barometers of success in our society? Well, probably a big expensive house, a big expensive car, going to posh restaurants, posh clothes. Uh, but these are all financial things, and I think we ought to uh, have different barometers of success. I think barometers of excess, how much we help other people, how engaged we are with our society, how much we uh, are prepared to learn. And I think these should be the barometers of success and not the financial ones that people uh, normally look at. Yeah, getting a place at a prestigious university could be called a barometer of success. I think it should be here. But anyway, OK, barometer, formality. Um, I think I'm going to give this five in formality. Um, I think use it anywhere. The thing that you have on the wall is a beautiful barometer. But uh, a barometer 
of something. Normally, x is a barometer of y. Five in formality, use it anywhere. And then as to origin, well, it's a barrow meter. A meter is something that measures things. And barrow comes from ancient Greek baros, weight, or barus, heavy. So it's measuring uh, um, something that measures weight. And what it's actually measuring is the weight of the air above. And that's why it measures the pressure. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Barometer.